Hey, what are you doing here? This is my hypnotically induced fantasy land. Don't worry. Just behave as you normally would, knowing that I am always with you, watching and silently judging. Ah, sweet. Someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay, Sonia. He's with me. Oh, Dr. Brom. Welcome back. What? You've been here before? Please ignore me. Remember, silently watching, silently judging. Welcome to Ray's Funhouse. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite them. I'm not even joking. Are you just going to sit here? I thought you were going to be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. Maybe if I just had a quick two second long micro nap, I'd feel better. Nope, still sleepy. Hot. Ah, oh, these were happy times. I never remembered the pie fight, though. Mm, and how does that make you feel? Ah, uh, okay. I hope that I'll never find myself in a similar situation to the Lobe Ranger in the future. Yes, indeed. That would certainly be an unexpected and not wholly unironic fate. Well, this is a waste of a perfectly delicious pie. Yeah, maybe Ray can eat the floor scraps afterwards. This is among my least favorite ways to be served pie. Easily in my bottom 20s, no sweat. Maybe if I just had a quick two-second long micro nap, I'd feel better. Nope, still sleepy. Oh, this is my first love, Maggie McAllister. Now, what do you think she represents? I believe she represents herself uh, in, in this memory. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give me something. Here it comes. My first kiss. I'm finally going to find out what all the fuss about pushing two sets of lips together is all about. Here it comes, my first kiss. I'm finally going to find out what makes it so much better than holding hands, which I already enjoy quite a lot, thank you. Oh, our attraction was... Don't say magnetic! Magnetic. Oh, but I never got the kisser. Oh, by the time I got down from the plane... She moved on to Boris. Indeed. And now, would you say this one event totally shaped your psyche into the person you are today? Nah, man. Boris is great. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray, if you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. Is this what kissing is all about? 
this hurts a lot more than I expected. It's your loss, mister. I was gonna let you hold my hands later. Dang, man! Beef. This is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point, so I tried to impress her with a grape that I'd carry in my pocket at all times for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date? Yep. After this, we were inseparable. It was love. Hmm. Well, maybe I could argue love as a psychological disorder in Reducing irrationality in its subjects and leading to much reduced critical thinking skills. Oh god, grapes! He's gonna put it in his mouth. So nasty! If I never see another grape in a thousand years, it'll be too soon! I can do this! I can do this! Well, the upside is this was a truly amazing grape. Downside is, I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die trying to impress a woman? I guess a lot of people, actually. It all started a few seconds ago. An ordinary second like any other. Until I tried to catch a grape in my mouth. Oh god, the grape is stuck inside him. This is as far as I go. There's no way I'm gonna reach down in his throat to get that grape out. Giving mouth to mouth to a mouth that just had a grape in it. So gross. But, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, I, I must really like this guy. I'm... I'm in love. The movies. They make mouth-to-mouth -mouth seem super hot. But as part of CPR, he's pounding my chest hot enough to break ribs. I mean, it's nice, and I like her, but I'd just as soon go on, like, uh, a walk. I like dates where I don't end up in hospitals. It's a nice change of pace. Baby flexes. Born to work day. An event that twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? Nah, oh, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. This is way better than attended school. Oh, which is what I am legally supposed to be doing right now. The sum of a square of the length of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the opposite side. I'm so bad at not dropping hammers on people. How did I even get this job? See, this is why I'm so into hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah. Boring old father issues? Gag me with a spoon. Come on, let's move along. There's got to be something less pedestrian here. All right, keep it together. If I can convince him that the hammer fell out of a, a passing airplane, then I'm home free. Hmm, that shouldn't be hard anymore. I like to make a poopy. That sure is 
making a funny face for some reason. Looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Oh, if I put. Wait, am I real? Wait, is anything real? Huh, where's my copy of Dakehood when you need it? Oh man, it actually worked! I'm impressed with myself, oh. especially since it doesn't even look like me that much. I mean, I'm handsomer, right? Okay, okay, see this picture? Imagine there was a man who looked like this picture. If you see a man who looks like this man I just told you to imagine, let me know, okay? My job is kind of writing on it, yo. certain death. Listen, you are doing huh. this wrong. Huh. How come running in a man's head gets me out of breath? How come? Huh. Okay, maybe I wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Chess match. Uh, we won. It was all thanks to teamwork. Her chess smarts, combined with my enthusiasm for whatever chess is, made us unstoppable. This was a big moment for us as a couple. Were you breastfed as a child? Uh, doctor, we're here to talk about chess, not feeding babies from someone's chest. Ray, I know you've got a hidden issue, and I know we will unearth it yet. I thought this was a checkers tournament. I'm in way over my head here. Darn it, Ray. It's hard to focus when you shout, ooh, sick move, and blow an air horn every time I move a piece. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I can't wait till she makes another sick move! Okay, okay, see this picture? Imagine there was a man who looked like this picture. Ah. 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 
Okay, okay, see this picture? Imagine there was a man who looked like this picture. If you see a man who looks like this man I just told you to imagine, let me know, okay? My job is kind of writing on it, yo. My first girlfriend. Prom was a great night. Oh, I mean, except for the braces problem. Uh, but like most problems, we solved it by shaving her head. <laughs> uh, high school was a weird time for me. Yes, yes, very interesting. Uh, hey, wait, who is Ted? Ted? I, I, I can't remember Ted. Maybe it, it was the janitor who who wanted to be fired? This isn't the magical night I was expecting. I knew I should have shaved my head. Uh, this is easily 20% more painful than I imagined. Finally! We're finally here! What's this door? Behind it are my innermost secrets revealed? My deepest, darkest shame? Oh, even better! <laughs> this is the washroom, Ray! Ah, oh, man! Couldn't you have done that before? I don't want strangers peeing in my brain! Well, it's a little late for that. Also, good news! I didn't pee. Ah, oh, man! Now, here's the door with your innermost secrets behind it. Hello? Who's there? <laughs> you have a home early? What the heck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in 15 years of practice. Disgusting and highly incurable. This is amazing. Uh, Dr. Richards, please. I'll hold. Bob, it's me, Brom. I've got a bad case heading your way. Yeah, totally incurable. Straight into the rubber room. Yeah. Uh, hypnosis, yeah. I'm still inside his head, actually. There's all these robots with their skin to... Yes, I know it's long distance. Bob, I'm good for it. Anyway, uh, we are going to see you at golf next weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see your putting get out of that spot. <laughs> 